Well, how's it going there, guys? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and I'm proudly welcoming you to the 22nd episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Thanks so much for deciding to check out the video here today, guys. I'm really hoping you'll enjoy what we have in store, and uh, I'm pretty sure you will. But anyway, we're here outside of Lance's apartment in Vice City, here again with Vic Vance. And uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and jump right into things and see what Lance wants to do. So, first mission of the day. Taking the fall. Oh, that does not sound good in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, I'm Lance T. Vance, baby. T for tulips in Thailand. I always thought the T was for Terrence. Yeah, look, I gotta go. I <laughs> later. So, who was that? Oh, bro, that's just the accountant. He's getting us a better rate at cleaning the money. And you call the accountant baby? Well, yeah, I'm a friendly guy. And baby is slang, you know. I don't love him. I ain't like that. I don't know about that. Hey, whatever you say. Anyway, we got real things to worry about. Someone's been helping themselves to the stash. The Mendez is a freaking out, and I told him we'd take care of it. It's probably our mom uh, again, isn't it? The last thing I need on top of everything else. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Go on, open your heart up, Vic. Oh, man, it's just Louise. I, I really thought we had something, but Aww. we just don't get to see each other. Yeah. Well, you know, relationships can be tough. Believe me, I know. No, I'll just ask the accountant about uh, that. Yep. Hey, come on, man. We, we got some fees to deal with. And you could take out your sexual frustrations on them. <laughs> hey, come on. Let's pop. Yeah. You know I love you, bro. All right. Ah, that's what bros are for, Lance. Way to go, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and take these guys down, whoever they are. The yayo. What? Oh, yeah, uh, it's the bikers. You sure? That is the least yeah. confident answer I've ever heard. You don't look it. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to prove it to you. You do the flying, I'll do the frying. <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure that I actually prefer that because I don't like piloting helicopters. But, oh well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Let's go ahead and pilot this chopper on over. I'm guessing since it's the bikers, they're probably going to be over on the uh, other portion of Vice City, so let's head on that way. Ooh, balance, what? Oh, okay, I thought if the balance meter ran out, the lance would just, like, fall out or something. That would have been a whole lot worse. And uh, I wouldn't put it past the game to do something like that. But uh, while I have a second here, guys, why don't I just take the chance to go ahead and say hi. I hope you're all doing extremely well. I hope that you're having an exceptional day. Uh, me, myself, I'm actually heading down to my apartment later in the day to grab my Xbox. Um, I basically have been living out of two different homes for the last couple semesters I've been going to my university. Um, I kind of alternate between being at home with my parents and then being at my apartment, which is closer to the university. So uh, I just need to go back to my apartment to grab my Xbox so I can actually record some more Fable videos. Which is why there hasn't been Fable posted in a couple days, but uh, hopefully I'll get that all sorted out. Anyway, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Damn, Lance. Just raining down hellfire. Okay, this is kind of like the, uh... That Gonzalez mission we did a couple episodes ago. That's not too tough. Or actually, I think it was for Rennie, but it involved Gonzalez, so... Got one more biker guy up here. What kind of gun are you using there, Lance? You were just mowing these guys down. Okay, so there's more at the hotel. Let's go ahead and fly that way. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go grab my Xbox because um, I actually haven't had it available to me for a while. I haven't been back to my apartment in a while, so uh, once I have that, I can get back into my regular rotation of doing some Fable videos every now and then. Almost done with that game, actually. There's not too much more to it. So I have to start mulling over and considering what game I'm going to let's play after Fable's done, like what's going to take that slot in my lineup. Um, I won't be taking on another GTA or Rockstar game until I complete Vice City Stories, so uh, it won't be another Grand Theft Auto game. I'll never be doing two of them at once. But uh, I've got a couple things I'm considering, so I'll let you guys know more about that once I'm a little more certain about what I'm going to be doing. So where are these guys? Okay, some pink markers. You guys are like ants, and I'm a kid with a magnifying glass. That's basically what this is. Alright, are there going to be any, like, on top of the building, maybe? 
I get the feeling something's going to go wrong here in a minute. And we're going to have to make our way up that building. Otherwise, why would it be there? You know, speaking of uh, helicopter controls, though, um, as much as I don't like flying helicopters in the Grand Theft Auto games, I have to admit, it's better than a lot of other games that have air vehicles. Um, I was playing a little bit of Battlefield 3 the other day, and I was just very quickly reminded of how incredibly just difficult the controls are for the jet planes in that game. And it makes me appreciate that even though Grand Theft Auto isn't the best, it gets a lot of things right. Oh, crap. Oh my god, Lance! 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 Holy shit. Well, okay. Just land and take the fall like a badass. Lance, how in the hell did you survive that fall, wherever the hell you are? Um, okay, we gotta go find this guy. Where the heck do I go, though? Oh, I go up? No, I have to go around the building, I guess. You know, even though I really didn't like Grand Theft Auto 4 that much, um, I think it was so highly overhyped and overrated. Uh, I did really enjoy the Lost and Damned DLC. I find that, that was probably the best thing about that game, was all the DLC that came out for it. That and the Battle of Gay Tony were infinitely better than the main game. I've always really liked bikers in video games, or games where you get to play as bikers. It's just kind of badass. And I feel like games don't do that nearly enough anymore. There was this old game on the N64. I think it may have also, uh... Ooh, nice. Um, I think it may have also come out for possibly the PlayStation or... Maybe the Dreamcast or something like that. I know it came out for a, a couple more consoles, but I played on the N64. Um, it was called Road Rash. And it was kind of a racing game. But there was also kind of like a combat element to where you could like hit other racers off of their bikes if you had a weapon. And I always thought that they should kind of, like, reboot that, because I don't think that there's been a remake of that game since, like, the N64 console generation. And I don't why nobody's made, like, a current-gen version of that game or something similar to it, because it's just so badass. Or maybe they have, and I just completely missed it, but still, that's a really fun game. Um, it gets a little repetitive if you play it for too long, but um, it can be a lot of fun, and it's, it's just that it's different from a normal racing game. I typically don't like straight-up racing games, but having that combative element really helps the game a lot. and makes it unique. But, um, Lance, where are you, buddy? Where the heck? Lance, are you there? Hey, Vic! Look what I found! Oh god, those are all over the place. I thought you were dead. No, man! I landed on a few soft bikers! Now I got me a new bike! Yeah! Great. Where's the stolen coke? Uh, yeah! Uh, they probably sold it already, the bastards. I'll see you later, bro. Whoa, God. Damn it, Lance. I don't even know why I bother sometimes. Should have just left him up there. Oh, well. Well, okay, I very much doubt that the bikers had anything at all to do with the stolen coke. That doesn't really leave too many other options. I'm sure it was our mother or something like that. Okay, let's see. Mendez, what do you want? Our product is still going missing. Don't fuck with us, Vic. Resolve this situation. Yeah, you know what? I'm on it. Okay, these things take time. I'm an artist. Can't rush art. Let's go ahead and... Oh, God. Our tires popped. Oh, God damn it. I'm trying to look all badass like Lance, but oh well. It's truly a sad day when Lance comes off as looking like the more badass of the two of us. But, um... Oh my god, I cannot control this thing for shit. Okay. I'm just gonna have to take it really easy, aren't I? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to Lance's apartment, because I noticed the uh, marker came back up, so there's another mission we can do with him. So uh, I will rejoin you guys down there. How about that? Then you don't have to suffer through my poor driving skills on a broken motorcycle. Um, I'll see you guys in a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Do not go in the water. Although I guess it doesn't matter since I can swim in this game. Uh, let's take another mission for Lance. White lies. Oh my god, Lance! So it's true! You were white all along! Yeah. Alright, baby! This is Lance Vance Dance! You got to... Uh, Alright! Pop it and... Uh, yeah, Lance, you work yeah. that. Wow! So this is where the coke is going? Up your nose? Oh hey, god. Vic. Hey, Vic. Uh, what are you doing here? You had me running around town like a psycho, and all the while you're siphoning it off for your personal use. 
You are unbelievable. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Uh look, can, can we talk about this later? What? Oh. <laughs> hey, Vic. No. Oh, shit. Louise. What the hell is going on? Well, uh um uh, uh bro. Hey, hey, bro, it ain't nothing like Oh that. Lance, I am going to kill you. I just needed something to take my mind off things. So you fucked my brother? No. <laughs> we just get high together. God damn, you are so judgmental, like you're a damn saint or something. Why are you being such an asshole? You are a mess. And you're wonderful. A wonderful drug dealing, thieving oh, murderer. Come on, Bitch, guys. I remember I inviting you over. Who are you trying to kid? You don't give a shit about me. Not now, I don't. You tell her. You know what? You make me want to puke, you self righteous dick. Ah, get lost. Stay away from me, you sick bastard. You're a phony, Vic Vance. Well, that went to hell real quick. What are you going to do? Thanks a lot, Lance. What? Listen. Who cares? It's my coke. It's all my coke. And I'll do with it whatever I damn well please. Uh, you know what? I can believe Lance taking the coke. I really can, but at the same time, hey, wow. Back here. Shut up! You're always telling me what to do. But if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have any of this. If I want to take coke, I will. If I want to give it away, I will. Dude, and calm I'm down. Don't say that away. so loud. All of it. And you can't stop me. Lance, don't be stupid. What the hell is he doing now? Ooh, a hovercraft? Sweet! I remember these from San Andreas. I love these things. Okay. Um, whoa, this one's kind of finicky to handle with. Wait, is he throwing the coke out of that hell? Oh, no! Well, I can't be good if it lands in the water. It's pretty much wasted, isn't it? He must have, like, waterproof packaging or something? I don't even know. Okay, wait, so is this gonna be the whole mission? I just have to follow him around with this thing? That's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, damn it. I mean, okay, Lance, as odd as this sounds, as my brother, I kind of knew he would do something like this eventually. But Louise, really? You too? Ugh. You know, this is just a perfect example of why you're better off buying prostitutes. Did not mean that. Okay. I just, you know, how stupid is Lance? If a cop comes by, I mean, okay, Grand, we're out on the open water. Maybe if, like, the Marines are out at duty or something? I don't know. I just can't believe that a cop isn't going to eventually see this. Oh, that is how- that, that's going to happen, isn't it? A cop is going to see Lance just throwing coke from his plane, and I'm going to get, like, a huge wanted level or something. I always wondered, like... Okay, I don't know about this. This probably sounds kind of stupid, but imagine this for a second. Say you go to some country where buying cocaine is, like, a really big thing. Um, not to stereotype, but- oh god. Okay, I thought that was going to, like, wreck my hovercraft or something. Um, so not to stereotype or anything, but let's just say, like, I don't know, Colombia. I, I just pulled that out of my ass, really. I, I don't know if that's really a huge thing in Colombia. It just kind of gets stereotyped that way because of movies and stuff. Maybe maybe Cuba because, like, Scarface or whatever. But So just pick one of these countries where Coke is a really big thing. Imagine if you just took a trip there, you know, just a one-time trip, went there with, like, a fake name, and you, like, did a... A deal or something, but instead of coke, you just had like a bunch of like Ziploc bags full of sugar or flour or something. I mean, I guess they would try it before they buy it from you, but just I don't know. That's so funny to me. If you could just like do a huge drug trade with like packets of sugar, and as long as you didn't use your real name or tell them where you live, they probably would never find you, assuming you live really far away from whatever country you go to visit and you never go back there like ever again because they would hunt you down. But I mean. That would be a great one-time score if you just did, like, a massive, like, truckload of the stuff. Actually, after hearing myself say all that and articulating my plan, I realized there are so many holes in that and it would not work. But if someone out there in YouTube land has tried this or is willing to try this for me to test it out as a theory, go ahead, leave me a comment, let me know how it goes or how it went. I'd love to hear from someone who's actually done it. Not that I'm condoning drug use or drug trade or anything like that, but you, you know I'm just joking. Yeah, no, I'm just joshing around with ya. And we got another 1,500 bucks. And a pretty damn sweet ride, too, I must say. Um, ooh, are we gonna get a text here? Lance, it better not be you, I swear to God. Ooh, Martinez. Hey, Vic, I'm back in town, rock and roll! 
How is that lady of- Oh no, you son of a bitch. Think I might pay her a visit? You bastard. Okay. Well, obviously in the next episode, we got something very important to handle and to get to. We gotta stop Martinez from doing whatever he's planning. But uh, that'll be next time. So, until then, thank you guys for joining me. Once again, my... Wait, is that cop beating up people in the background? Oh my god. Um, where the heck was I? Um, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe to me. That way you can stay updated anytime I post new videos to my channel. But otherwise, guys... Oh god, they killed that cop. Yeah, you better run, you idiot. Wow, that's, that's too funny. Um, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, I'm glad. And until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!